Okay, hello and welcome. Brett here with clickmail.co. In this video, I am going to show you how to take 10, 20 hours of sermon prep, and not only sermon prep, but also social media prep, notes for your congregants during the sermon, a number of other things. And I'm going to show you how to condense that down into 10 minutes using AI and tools that you can access online. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to share my screen with you. And uh, this is something my team and I put together this morning. And um, I'm going to be showing you here uh, on the screen. You're going to see we have chat GPT. So I do encourage you, uh, if this is something you're interested in, go to chat GPT, check this out. Now, we have created what is called a custom agent. And this is our sermon writing agent. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to tell the agent what it is that you would like to create a sermon about. And you know, you're the pastor, and so you do need to put in the details and tell the agent how you want it to write the sermon. But let's just say, for example, you know, um, I want you to create a sermon about, um, let's go with the divinity of Christ. And then some that come to mind, you know, we, we'll say, uh, use Daniel 7 as a source, uh, SOU source text for this, and insert other uh, verses that fit this theme. Your goal, and tell the goal, goal is to uh, show that Christ does, in fact, claim to be God. Okay. Now, if I were writing a real sermon, I'm just doing this quickly for you, I would actually be giving it a little bit more verses that I want it to use, and I'd be maybe giving it some more specifics, but to show you what it is capable of. Here we go. Sermon writer, sovereign uh, king, unveiling the divinity of Christ through Daniel 7. So it gives us the introduction to our sermon. Of course, you're going to be looking this over and reading this. We're skimming here. Scripture reference, Daniel 7. That's not really a section title. Oh, here we go. Point one, the son of man. So this is our first section. The son of man, a divine appointment. Okay. And it's giving us Daniel seven and it's giving us the ancient Jewish context within the ancient Jewish context. The son of man was understand as a messianic figure um, who would wield divine authority. And then it goes on to break down some original language and some other things here. The application to our life. Point two, worship of the Son of Man, a divine right. And so it's, you know, in here going to break down why you worship the Son of Man. Um, it's giving us Philippians for that. And again, we're just breezing through this. The point here isn't to actually create a fully researched sermon. But of course, you look through this. Uh, the everlasting kingdom, a divine kingdom. Um, and so we're continuing. So we have a conclusion, a call to salvation that is based off of that sermon the pastoral notes for you to write notes in if you need, and then resources for further studies. Um, it gives recommendations on, you know, whatever, some uh, different people who've written on this subject that you could look up online. Um, and so there is our sermon. So let's say we've really looked into this, we've added, and you can just reply to this and say, you know, I would actually like there to be a fourth point or, you know, I don't like point three. So go ahead and remove it and do this verse instead. And so you can craft this. And the goal is to just allow the AI to help speed up your sermon creation creation process. You are the pastor, not the AI. So that's the first thing I want to say. I think it gets a little dicey if you're just allowing it to write whatever it wants. Uh, you know, you're, you're the one that's going to be controlling this. So when you have the sermon set up the way you want, I'm going to come to our next agent. And this is um, you know, our, our agent who writes the notes for the sermon. So I'm just going to say, create me notes for this sermon. And we're going to let this sermon writer go. Now, this is going to create a page of notes for the congregants with blanks. And so as you're speaking, they're going to be writing and, uh, you know, filling in the blanks as you're going. And you'll see here, this is completely based on the sermon that we just decided was, was great. And conclusion, now, um, that's pretty straightforward. You just copy and paste that onto a Word doc. It's giving further study for the people in your church, you know, this week during your Bible study or whatever, here, Matthew, Philippians, Matthew. Okay, so 
We have our notes, copy and paste those to a Word doc, print them off. Okay, we're going to move on. Preparing. Okay, we're gonna, we need a graphic for social media, for the sermon, for the slideshow. Let's get a primary graphic. Now, you can do this as many times as you want. We'll just do it once. And so we've already got it set here. So we've got our sermon graphic, our graphic designer here. I'm going to say create a graphic for this sermon. And we're going to let this work. Now, this does take a second. Um, this is just kind of the speed at which the graphics come out, but it is much faster than, you know, having a graphic designer do it for you. Uh, the great thing about these graphics is that firstly, if you don't like it, just have it make you another one. So if we, I'll show you right now, if I don't like it, we'll have it do another one. Also, there are no royalties. You do not have to pay for this. Let's see. There we go. So let's see. What is this about the divinity of Christ? And what do we have? Jesus on the throne. Um, I'm not really liking this image. The darkness doesn't really appeal to me, but you can see this is a, a very high quality professional. This would cost hundreds of dollars to have a graphic designer create. Now, it's also going to output me one. This is wide formatting for social media that is necessary for wide. It's going to create something similar and it's going to do it in a tall format, which is going to come out now. And so we'll see that come out. But again, you can just regenerate these until you like what you have. You can regenerate 20 and have all kinds of images for your slides or whatever it is that you need custom images for. And there are no royalties. These are yours. These are completely custom generated pixel by pixel by the AI. So while it's creating that image, I'm going to set up our next agent. And these agents are basically like staff. They work for your church, uh, your ministry, and you tell them what you want them to do. So it's still creating that second image here. And I'm going to say, create my YouTube title, Oops, YouTube title and description, description for this sermon. Okay, now I've not spelled everything correctly. Okay, it looks like that second image uh, ran up against an issue. We're just going to keep going because, again, you know you can just generate a new one. Um, but either way, so uh, this can discern typos. You don't need to fix typos. It's actually been shown that ChatGPT, if you scramble every word and make them random, as long as all the letters are in that word, it always knows what you're saying. So you only have to worry about typos. Create my YouTube title and description for this sermon. So now we're talking to our YouTube title and uh, and description generator. And now some of this is customizable. And when we work with clients, you know, we're always helping them to customize these things. This is sort of a um, a general setup that we build off of. But here we go. YouTube description. So you got title: Unveiling Divinity: The Astounding Revelation of Christ in Daniel Seven. All right, great. Um, now the goal in here is to actually have a keyword so people are finding your sermons in YouTube videos. So this is where you want to put that word or phrase that people are looking for online. Sermon outline. So here we go. Join us as we delve. So this is the video outline. And then here are our points in the sermon, the conclusion, salvation call, visit your website URL. Of course, this is what, as I was mentioning, this is what you customize for your ministry. And any of this is customizable. And then lastly, so now you've got your YouTube title, you've got your YouTube description. And lastly, we're going to go in here and we're going to say, create my social media posts for this sermon. And now this is going to follow and pull from the sermon and create social media posts, as you can see here for Facebook, and it's going to keep going. And uh, you are going to be able to use those images that you just generated here with these social media posts. And of course, these can also be customized. You'll see here, yourchurchwebsite.com, your church website. So you're actually able to link this over to your site to get more uh, viewers and people looking at the content that you're spending so much time on. So this is how to take 20, 30, 40 hours of Sunday preparation and boil it down into the course of about 10 minutes so that your church is more efficient and you're able to reach more people more effectively. If this is something that's interesting to you and you want to learn more about this, we're going to make all of these agents and all of these prompts available to you on our subscription plan over at ClickMail. You're welcome to check them out. Uh, if you have questions, 
please post them in the description. I would love to learn how we at ClickMill can support you in reaching the world for Christ. God bless.